Despierta, Cecita, despierta. Está solo. Thank you, mommy. Honestly, I don't even know where this vlog actually started. It is Friday. And I promised you guys another, like, a bonus video. And so I'm just going to share with you guys, like, my 30th birthday and, like, how that was. Um, truly, like, the fact that we were in a quarantine really didn't matter because... I felt so loved by those that, um, hold on, let me fix this because I have this like new thing on here. Um, by those that mattered, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it could have been the way that I, you know, envisioned it. I was supposed to be on somebody's island somewhere. But the truth of the matter is that I felt so loved by those near me physically, but also those at a distance and that's important to me so I I um I don't take it lightly I'm having another smoothie bowl so this vlog probably will be a combination of a few things I want to include some IG stories and posts that um, I shared on social media uh, like my cake that I had on my birthday and just uh, some highlights of that day because I really couldn't film. I mean, couldn't vlog like I wanted to, but I did start the day off. So I don't even know how this whole vlog thing is going to go. But um, but yeah, I feel so blessed. I was kind of writing out a caption for today and just reflecting on the week, right? Reflecting on the week. Reflecting on the month so far, it's only the 15th. And I truly feel like a lot of us, if we can kind of look at the good in our lives right now and really, really hone in, it will allow our daily experiences to be a little bit more positive. Um, not denying that life brings us very tough situations and circumstances, but I was writing out some of the things that I just want to share with you guys because... I don't only want to share, or I haven't really only shared, but I want to share the wins too of my life, you know, because I feel like a lot of us have, um, it's 12.30, okay. I feel like a lot of us get so caught up in sharing our losses and, and the suffering, but like, especially online, because sometimes, hey, like people really connect to that, but I really want you to connect to the joyful things that also happen. So one, I turned 30 this, this week which is completely epic. Um, I launched my new baby, which I'll do a whole separate video on here about, which is the Flourish Effect. It is a community for creatives, you know, so that you guys, to really help you and teach you to flourish in your soul, business, and relationships. So I'm going to put the Instagram below, but literally it gained over a thousand followers within the first 24 hours. And I was like, what? So, um... I can't wait to see what happens and what comes about with all the work that has been going on behind the scenes with that platform. It is beyond me. I'm just so excited to share. Um, and then I kind of wrote some things down and then I paid off two credit cards, which I'm just like, the, I'm trying to be literally debt free, you know, minding my business, skin glowing, drinking all of the water and glowed up in these 2020 streets. That's all I want. Um, yeah, and then I witnessed the adoption of my nieces. Uh, they've been with us for, oh my gosh, maybe four years, five years. I really don't even know. And you guys have probably seen them here and there, but I've been very protective of their identity, if you will. <laughs> um, because it wasn't official yet, but they are indeed our nieces and our family members, and I think adoption, man, I was sobbing at the whole process because it was like a virtual courtroom or whatever, but just the language is so telling to like how God adop adopts us as his king, as His kids um, into his kingdom, and it's just, man, blew my mind. The language that was uh, said during those, during that time, and I was just like, man, I was sobbing, y'all. Um, and yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. And then one of my friends uh, who they're engaged, well, now they're married. They were like, quarantine who? 
we're gonna go ahead and have a very small little ceremony and just really get married like who cares um but you know i know they'll have like a big ceremony and i mean big celebration so it was just beautiful to witness that yeah we're in the middle of a pandemic and all this stuff but we're still gonna celebrate our love and that's what they chose to do and i realized that a lot of people make different decisions regarding that but i think it's just so beautiful it was like nah we we gonna go ahead and make this official so that was beautiful so it just felt like such a win week of celebration of love life and family and man i'm just i'm just uh, i don't need, i have no words it was a good week so i wanted to do like an extra video for you guys this week because i know my video went up on tuesday and of just me turning 30 of some of the things that i've learned in the decade of my 20s it's so funny because like a lot of people cannot believe the fact that i'm 30 years old i guess i look like a baby which is all right with me because before that used to bother me now i'm like okay i look 19 and <laughs> great that's fine with me so i cannot believe i'm 30 thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes the amazing messages the love I mean it's been it's it's been overwhelmingly amazing like in the most amazing way in the best way possible so I man I count it a blessing to be able to share glimpses of my life with you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy as I grow as I document these these pivotal moments in my life and just share with you that God really indeed does make beautiful things out of some of the probably most detrimental things of our lives and experiences. And I'm seeing beauty for ashes in my life as I walk and as I trust. But ultimately, if it weren't for obedience and for really trusting God and the God in me, I just wouldn't be in this position. And there's still so much... There's still so much growth and things to do, but I just needed to pause and like celebrate how far I've come. <laughs> Have you ever had to do that? Just celebrate yourself and how far you've come. I'm like indeed mind blown right now.